So a simple little project, this one, a wine glass shape. So I'm going to right click and create a sphere. And this, to begin with, is going to be quite similar to making the glass bowl. So use the vertex selection tool to select the topmost vertex and then switch to the face mode and press plus to increase the face selection and then right click and intrude a little bit. Then use W to switch to wireframe view and then scale axis Y to compress that slightly and then I'm going to move that up a little bit too. So this is to create this thick area where the stem is going to uh, connect onto the shape. Right, if I wanted to modify this so it had a more angular shape, you could always at this point press space to deselect, select one of the inner rings and a corresponding outer one here for example and press L for loop and then scale uniform so it could bring that out slightly so this is going to make the shape a little bit more angular and then at the top here I'm going to use the rubber band tool to select the top selection right click and scale axis Y and bring that up and then move it up and again just looking at the profile of this shape will give you some idea of how it might turn out when it's smoothed so just have a look at that, it looks roughly about what I'm aiming for. Press space to deselect. Find the wireframe view distracting. Press W to turn it back off again. Edge tool. I'm going to select one of these inner edges here because it's looking quite thick, that top inner edge. Use G and then scale uniform to narrow that down a bit. And I want to create a lip on this. So I'm going to select that very top edge there. Use L for loop and bevel it down a little bit, not too much and then extrude it so it's got a more or less square cross section across that edge then extend the selection with plus again and then extrude a little bit not too much and when that's smoothed that will create uh, a, a smooth edge for drinking from I don't know whether that's uh, extruded enough there I'll go use Control and Alt Z to take it back a little bit and extrude it a little bit more so just to make the edge a bit thicker. Right, press space to deselect the vertex tool again, select this, uh, the bottom vertex, and bevel it a bit. This is going to be the stem of the glass. So at the moment, I don't know how thick that's going to look, so I'll extrude it, normal, and just take it down a bit. This looks rather thick, but I can correct for that. Press space to stop extruding it. It looks a little bit tall as well. Uh, I'm going to select these edges with the rubber band, press C to connect them together, and then bevel take it right up so it's close to where it connects to the glass and then scale uniform and that'll take it in and then I can press plus and scale uniform again if I felt it was a bit big and then move it up back into position so it's just a way of controlling its size uh, select this bottom circle here and I use A I can change the focus and extrude that normally a bit and then I'm going to scale uniform, so I scale that circle and you can see that's uh, creating the base. So I've just got to try and judge whether that's the right sort of size, then extrude it again to give it some thickness, and then inset it, and when with the wireframe view press W, I can now move that up inside, so it's just control of the thickness of the glass in the base there. There we go. Press uh, W to turn it back to solid, so it just toggles between wireframe view. I'm going to select one of these not the vertex, I want the edge. So select the edge tool, select one of these inner edges there and corresponding one on that. Press L for loop and then A to change the focus slightly. Bevel that a bit, extrude it a bit and then scale uniform a bit and what that will do it'll create some uh, bulges on the glass when I smooth this down. So if that's looking more or less the right sort of shape, select the entire object, press smooth once and smooth twice and see if that looks about right. Switch to the wireframe view and you can see how the glass gets thicker towards the base there which is what I was aiming for and it's quite thin at the sides and we've got this rolled top. So what's missing? Well it's a wine glass and we've not got any wine in it so what you can do is select one of these inner loops so choose one towards the bottom because otherwise the glass will get too full. Select it press L for loop, switch to face and then extend the faces until it just covers in at the bottom there. So use W to see how much wine we've got in there, it's probably an appropriate amount. And then right click and extract that Y while holding the shift key down and that will take it out in stages because we're going to slip it back in in a second. Press A to change the focus. Now we've got an inside out shape there so we just need to select the entire object and invert it so we've got an outside out shape. I don't know what the appropriate term is for that anyway. Select the top, inset it, 
a little bit and then move that little bit down a bit and then inset it again so we'll just inset it a little bit and then collapse that to get rid of that multi polygon shape in the middle there so those collapse there it is right so I just need to sort this meniscus out so we can do that if I select that edge there and press G to take it around the outside and right click and select cut and cut it into five and then connect those together with C right and then use this and just select those in stages like so and then press G right click I should be able to circularize it now and create an appropriate shape for the meniscus so there we go that's given me that space and then if this is going to be a detailed shot loop bevel that edge very slightly now I know if I slip this geometry back inside it's there's likely to collide and that can cause problems in octane I've noticed so I'm going to right click and scale uniform tab 99.99% so there's no collision between the two geometries right click move and put it back inside the wine glass press W to, to change to wireframe view now that'll be for the object that's selected I need to do both of them together so W and then A to realign it and I can see now I've got my wine inside the glass appropriately go back to the glass W again right if this is going to be a detailed shot select the whole thing and press smooth once more and uh, did that work yeah that worked so hopefully now I'll have got enough polygons to provide a, uh, a decent render without any appearance of facets or other problems so that's it then a wine glass shape in Wings 3D with some wine in it. It didn't take too long really. So I hope you found that interesting and useful and uh, you'll have a go at making something like this in Wings 3D.